Hello, hello, my name is Mariola and welcome to my channel Slow Down in Style. Today I'm styling one of the most requested by you garments, which is slip skirt. It's the slinky, flowy, long skirt. In my case, it's a maxi skirt, but all the looks will work for your midi skirts as well. And I forgot one detail. It's a black skirt, but I'm pretty sure you can use all the outfits to style your taupe, ivory, or I don't know, maybe even green skirt. So let's get started. So for the first outfit, I wanted to show you a classic white t-shirt, but it's not so classic because it's cropped and it's more boxy. It also has a longer sleeve, which I feel creates a very interesting silhouette. A white t-shirt and black skirt. This is such a great basic outfit that you can do anything with. You can add, just like in this case, a gray jumper on your shoulders. You can add a blazer in any color, or you don't have to add anything because it's too hot. So you can play with different bags, different size or color of the bag. And same goes for shoes. Again, you can wear any shoes, even crazy green shoes if you have. Something I've seen the other day, green shiny sandals, amazing color in a classic style, but I couldn't find them in the UK. So here I just added my oversized slouchy tote bag. This is mainly to balance the skirt because skirt is so long and there is just so much of it. Second look is black cropped boxy linen shirt. I know it's not ideal, but I still wear a lot of black in summer, actually more than in winter. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I really like to uh, brighten up a black outfit with pearls or silver. So in this case, I went for pearls and gold. And because of my gold jewelry, I added a small black bag with a nice gold hardware. So again, everything comes together. It's small details, but in my opinion, it makes a big difference. So the second shirt I really wanted to show you is this vintage deep brown shirt. It's very oversized, it's loose, flowy, but instead of leaving it loose, I decided to tie it in the front, slightly asymmetrically on one side, just to make it a little bit more interesting. In my last video, I talked about rusty brown color and how it doesn't go with my skin tone. That's absolutely true. I'm happy I've learned that lesson. Uh, but that's the thing about fashion. It's really good to know your colors, to learn the rules and then break them and create your own rules and create your own outfits. Again, this comes to having more fun with fashion and not taking it too seriously. The next outfit is a sleeveless blazer or as some of you call it, a vest. Uh, a longer vest, I guess. This long skirt and long uh, blazer create this long and elegant silhouette. This is beautiful, it's very feminine, but not in, not in a sweet way. Now it all depends on what shoes you wear with it, what bag, to make it more or less dressy. I went for my black classic sandals, but uh, maybe Birkenstock? like your toe Birkenstock would be a better choice if you wanted this outfit to be more casual. The blazer is very open, so I can't wear it on its own. Uh, so underneath, instead of my black tank top, which I wore in my previous video, I picked this linen uh, knitted top. And I actually really like it because first of all, it's not white, so it doesn't give you this harsh contrast. And second, it's very summery. So maybe that top again makes it more casual. You could wear so much more jewelry with it if you wanted to make it more stand out. I'm quite happy with this beige toad because first of all, it's big. So I like how it breaks that long and slim silhouette, but also how it adds uh, some light and freshness to the outfit. The next outfit is this. I wasn't planning on this outfit. I already had all the outfits prepared and recorded. And then I was like, this is looking really dark because the black skirt takes such a big portion of the outfit. So it's so much more difficult to make it more interesting and light for summer. So I looked at this shirt on the hanger and I thought, well, that would be an amazing combination. 
First of all, the color white and blue with black, plus this light beige bag and sandals. But second, the silhouette of the shirt together with this long, slim, elegant skirt. I love it. I love silhouettes in general, so that's why I'm so excited with this outfit. Again, super simple, minimalistic. You could even add a, a white tank top underneath and then put this on open if it's hot, just to have this extra layer. As you can see, I'm wearing a silver jewelry, big earrings, small necklaces, but layered, chunky, very unusual bracelet. And my vintage Casio, oh, <laughs> I just love it. It works so well with white and blue and actually with so many other colors as well. Outfit number five is a graphic t-shirt. I really struggle with graphic t-shirts because most of them are band t-shirts that look old and I really have problem with that. I've been looking in vintage shops a lot and there's just nothing and 80% of the t-shirts are black and really washed out but I found this t-shirt we went to Uniqlo with my daughters um, because we needed some clothes for a trip to Poland I saw this minimalistic beautiful t-shirt there was only one t-shirt left and it was in the size I wanted perfect fit, not long, not cropped, something in between. So I decided to add a lot of silver jewelry to make a statement with silver, basically. It's um, simple, minimalistic, but it's got this spice to it. I was really struggling with the bag because my natural choice was the oversized tote bag from Everlane, but it didn't really work together. So I tried my trusty bag from Ateliers Auguste uh, that always works whenever I wear silver jewelry. And whenever I want um, the outfit to be more contemporary, modern and young. This is one of my favorite outfits, I'm not gonna lie. I love the silhouette, I love the colors. I'm so happy with this t-shirt. Actually, it's a really nice, meaty and substantial t-shirt. So I hope it's gonna wash well and it's gonna last me for a long time. I think this outfit would work really well with my ballet flats or just more masculine loaf. How I style my black slip skirt in more than five ways. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it um, interesting and useful. I had fun creating these outfits and observing different silhouettes and color combinations. I think it's a really nice experiment if you can try to do it at home. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, share it with your friends and family if you think they would benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I see you in my next video. Bye!